We are talking now about buying and selling used farm equipment with Dr. John Long, our Extension Ag Engineer. John, kind of give us an idea of what the situation is with, with ag equipment, tractors, combines, all of that right now. It's, it's kind of like a lot of other things we're seeing in manufacturing. Yeah, it's, it's pretty similar type of story that we're seeing in, in the ag sector compared to a lot of other manufacturing. Uh, if we look at the prices of, of used equipment, the unavailability of new equipment, it's, it's all around based off of that. So what, in fact, are we seeing? I mean, what's causing this? Um, dive into that a little bit in terms of the supply chain issues and the ability to get, to get new tractors and new equipment and then what that's causing with the, the backlog of, of maybe the availability of used equipment and then what's that doing to prices? Sure. Uh, so a lot of the new equipment that we're talking about, if you've been to a dealer lot in the past year to year and a half, you've seen the dwindling stock of equipment at, at new dealer uh, equipment type of things. And a lot of that has to do with the manufacturing process. What's happening in, in recent years, we've shifted a lot of our manufacturing to just in time manufacturing, which means you're relying on the supply chain. You're relying on getting that material in to build that new uh, planter or combine and whenever that supply chain gets a little bit held up, broken, it makes it more difficult to actually produce those things. And so a lot of our manufacturers are having a lot of issues getting those things in, and which means they're unable to make the quantity of new equipment that we want them to have and they want to have to be able to sell to, to growers. And so that kind of creates a trickle down effect with used equipment because a lot of new equipment, I'd say nine times out of 10, new equipment's gonna have some type of trading associated with it. And so that trade in is something that they're going to turn back around and sell to someone else. They're going to trade in their you know, piece of equipment and it kind of becomes a kind of a process. They're a wash down of, of used equipment. And whenever we don't have the new equipment there, it kind of holds up the process and makes it more difficult for people to get in that and disrupts that whole chain. As a result of this, we're also seeing some record prices at the auctions. And that can kind of be a sticker shock, right? And, and it's sort of a ripple effect of all of this. Yeah, usually auctions are a place where we can go to liquidate equipment that we don't want to sit there and wait on. Uh, dealers use that a lot for liquidating used equipment. You know, we talked about the kind of wash down of equipment. When we get to the, the lower end of equipment, a lot of times they're going to try to auction it off to get it turnover, uh, to not hold it in the lot and be able to get some of their money, recruit some of their money on that. And so now we have, due to that supply chain issue and having less equipment available, we have more people going to the auction as a means to try to accrue you know, inventory. So even dealers are going there as a way to pull the inventory. So that drives prices up, more demand, prices are gonna go up. And unfortunately, that's what we're gonna see, at least for the near term. Well, I think the, the last question is for you to look into your crystal ball and tell us when this will all normalize, but that's pretty difficult to answer. Uh, definitely, if, if I had that answer, I'd uh, be able to answer a lot of other questions <laughs> maybe that other people have, but, uh, you know, it's something we're just going to have to deal with, at least in the, the near term. Uh, there, you know, there are some advantages if you do have some used equipment available that you're not using. Now's a great time to turn over the, some of that stuff and create some extra or liquid cash available for your operation. Um, if you're in the other hand waiting for equipment, um, you know, I, I don't really have a good answer to, to tell you when to, to go, but uh, you got to kind of make do with what you can at this point, And then hopefully the market will turn around like it usually does. So just be patient, everyone, right? That's right. <laughs> okay, great conversation, John. We appreciate your time today on Senate.